Every day, the Iranian regime is pushing the envelope on one thing. The extent at which the government can go to punish the defying women. For months now, the Iranians have found different ways to show their anger. Some women are cutting their hair, some are burning the headscarves, and others are ditching the hijab completely. But they are coming with consequences. The country hosted a sporting event, a marathon race in Shiraz, during which some women were seen running without their headscarves. What happened next? Soon these images reached Tehran and a controversy broke out. Hours later, this man, the head of Iran's Athletics Federation, resigned. Local organizers of the public event have also been summoned. The government is backing its actions with a draconian law. Hijab was made compulsory after the Islamic Revolution of 1979. 44 years later, Ibrahim Raisi wants to continue this rule. Many have called it sexist as well. But the number of women defying the dress code has increased, especially since the death of Masa Amini in Tehran. She was 22 years old, who was on a visit to Tehran with her family, where she was arrested for not wearing the hijab properly. The killing was eight months the killing pro instigated protests which have gone on for over eight months. Anger has been emanating from the diaspora as well. International community has been vocal against the crackdown. But the government in Iran has stood its ground. Last week, authorities launched proceedings against four actors who had appeared in public without hijabs. More than 150 establishments have been closed after employees were accused of violating the dress code. In June, police in Shiraz arrested girls who removed their veils at a skateboarding event. So, women continue to be treated as second-class citizens. They are told where to go, what to study and what to wear. All this in the current times.